Hey guys, Manju here. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a pop-up box just with the help of HTML and CSS. Uh, no JavaScript required. Okay, so this is the example of the pop-up box which you'll be creating today, and uh, a close box, something like this. All right. So let's start coding. So uh, we're going to create div. Uh, which will actually act as the pop-up box. So let's go ahead and start the div. Uh, let's give an ID called pop for this tutorial and uh, close this div. And um, let's actually link this to the content within the uh, pop-up can be linked to anything. Uh, right now I'm just linking it to Google right and uh, this is a pop-up box right so uh, right now what you see is uh, you will just see uh, the text now let's go ahead and create a style for this uh, the the design for this div so uh, start off with the style tag okay so um, you name it as pop so just uh, name it as pop and uh, start uh, let's start it off with the with the height of the div let's give it to 80 pixels uh, width 470 pixels wide the uh, position you're just just going to fix it bottom 50% uh, and uh, right 50% so basically this div is going to be in a fixed position with 50% uh, bottom uh, and the 50% right so basically it's going to float in the middle of the screen uh, no matter the what the screen size of the uh, user is and uh, now we're going to we are going to design the div with the color that is border 2 pixels solid and uh, let's actually giving a let's actually give a padding of 10 pixels and a background uh, say white doesn't matter right and uh, just going to give a border radius radius of uh, say 9 pixels so uh, I guess this will do so if I refresh this yeah you can see you can see basically we have a a dev box right and uh, yeah so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a close button right here okay on the top right so uh, let's jump into our uh, HTML scripting here and uh, let's create a button and uh, we'll give an ID for this something like close and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to give an on click function so something like document uh, get element by ID and we're going to, we're going to just say pop Up, dot style dot display equals none so uh, on click if somebody clicks on this just display none right so basically that will take care of uh, hiding the uh, the div the pop-up as soon as uh, somebody clicks on this uh, close button right so that's it uh, and uh, we're just going to close this with the button tag, close button. Uh, 
let's just give a br for this as this is lying inside this dev uh, just to separate the close button with the content here uh, and now we're going to give a style for this a close tag right the close uh, id okay so uh, let's say close our style is style for this close button is going to stay here so that is right five top five so it's going to uh, float on the top right of the the div and then we say float right so yeah I guess that's it we are done with our pop-up right so as on click we'll just it close it it closes and uh, let's uh, test it out whether it it's a pop-up it's a pop-up when we actually write some content behind it so uh, let's go ahead and write some content this is sample content we'll just copy paste this all over right and just go ahead and test it out so as you can see the content is behind the pop-up and this will just act as the pop-up box I close it and when I refresh it back uh, I get the pop-up uh, and when I click on this link you can put all the content within this pop-up and as you know we have just added uh, the uh, this is a pop-up box this is the text which is actually within this div so when I click on this it will actually go to google.com right so that's how it is and um, this we, you can actually add the time in you know the pop-up delayed that time all those things in the JavaScript so uh, you can customize it however you want it so that's it I guess uh, this tutorial was helpful to you and uh, please subscribe thanks for watching bye bye